Hello and welcome. Uh, this is a tutorial video on how to update your uh, XBMC to the latest alpha phase version. Uh, the latest version is XBMC 14. It has been codenamed Helix. Uh, it is now on alpha 2 uh, version. I'm going to update my uh, XBMC 13.1. I believe this uh, method works for every version, but uh, make sure that you have uh, at least this one. Uh, to follow these instructions. So let's close my XPMC. Uh, what you want to do first is go to xpmc.org, that's the uh, XPMC Media Center's uh, webpage. Go to Downloads, scroll down a bit, there's the stable release, beta release, and there's the development builds. Uh, here's the Helix. Uh, you can download the correct version from here, but I suggest that you go into this link, this development build. There's a lot of information that you want to know, uh, like it states here. So let's open that one. Okay, so that's an Im important information. It might be a bit uh, unstable if you want to use this, uh, but it's it's your own, own discretion. Uh, the second important thing uh, the note is that always back up your user data folder and and that's that's a, a really strong suggestion uh, here's the nightly builds if you want to use nightly build you can use uh, you can download it fr from here but we want to install the 14 alpha 2 uh, version because that's the latest alpha so here's the versions that you can download for different uh, platforms uh, there's the uh, the changes that has been made uh, for, from, for Alpha 1 in here and Alpha 2 in here. If you can uh, s check them out if you want. So I'm going to download the Windows version because that's that's my operating system. Down, uh, click that and once it's downloading I'm going to go and uh, uh, back up my user data folder. So if you cl click on this user data folder link you can see where the uh, where the uh, what the location of the user data folder is for different uh, platforms. So for Windows, it's uh, users slash your username slash app data slash roaming slash XPMC slash user data. So let, let's go there. Uh, here's my computer. Let's go. And this is a quick link to the app data uh, folder. So if, if I do this percent mark app data percent mark, it will automatically go to the users uh, my username update roaming and then we can find XPMC here and if we squeeze this down a bit we can see that X roaming uh, XPMC and then user data so this is the one that you want to uh, back up so I'm going to make a zip from it and then move it somewhere else so I'm going to move it oops to my D folder here uh, move Okay, now it's backed up, so now we can do the update. So let's click on this uh, download link that we, uh, or the X that we downloaded, run, click on next, click on I agree, uh, select what you want to install, I'm going to install everything, next, uh, choose the location where you want to install it, I'm fine with that, click on next, and if you want to create this shortcut, and what's the name of the shortcut, I'm f f happy with that. Now it's going to take a few seconds or or something to install it. So let's wait on that. that. If the user data gets corrupted or something went wrong with that, you can <coughs> uh, downgrade the XPMC version. So install, for example, the 13 back <coughs> and uh, recopy the user data folder back where, where we uh, did the uh, uh, backupping. Okay, now it's installed. Let's choose Run XPMC and click on Finish. And we can fi find it in here. So I'm going to adjust so it fits on my recording. So here we go. So if we go to System, System Info, uh, we can find out that we are on XBMC 14 Alpha 2 version. Uh, do remember that if you are using this, this is a development version, so there will be bugs. Uh, it could be unstable. All of the add-ons 
aren't updated, I believe. And uh, yeah, just do do bear that in mind that this is a alpha phase phase version. So uh, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.